What's up YouTube? It's been a while since I've done a video for astrophotography. A video of me um, actually capturing deep space objects. But um, this one tonight is I pulled out my Celestron 8SC and got everything loaded on my AVX mount. It's been a while. Last time I used this telescope was mainly for the um, planets and the moon and stuff like that. But I have not done deep space with this telescope in almost a year. It took me almost an hour to get everything running, get everything calibrated. Up and it was just a Oh, it was a while before I got everything going. But you see my guiding is about 1.09. Not too bad for all this weight that's on the AVX mount. But the target that I chose tonight is, is NGC 891. I think this galaxy is like 20 million or 30 million. I can't remember. I did this target um over a year ago with my um, 80 millimeter refractor. But I said, well, we only have about four hours of clear skies tonight before the clouds come back in. I said, well, let me just try about three hours of this galaxy with... My 8SC. You see right here, I'm only doing 35 luminance at one minute. Red, green, and blue, I'm doing two minutes and 25 pictures each. So that's about three hours total. And my images, uh, you see right here, is a medium stretch. Here's the actual galaxy right here. And I had to actually see, I don't have a moonlight focuser on this telescope, so I had to do everything by hand. I had to get my batten off mask out and place it onto the actual front of the scope and try to you know tweak everything with the stars and I'm not sure how good it's going to be because I've been using autofocuser for a year but they still look pretty good but uh, the ASC probably is not the best for close-up stuff like this when you're trying to really look at details but I'm gonna see how it comes out I just need to practice this kind of stuff sometimes but yeah that's a, a medium stretch if I go high stretch you still can see the galaxy a little bit right here but it's so far away yeah, so um, that's basically it. And not too much left on this one. Um, hit For practice tonight, before I, this target was at the Meridian, so it was straight up at the Meridian. When I tried to start, I couldn't do it because just the position where it was at in the sky. So I had to try on M81. I just tried this just to make sure everything was working. And that's when I had the problems where nothing was calibrating. My framing mo mosaic wizard, you know, when you do your um, plates off, all that stuff was errors, errors, problems. So I was outside for almost an hour trying to get everything set up. Then my guide scope, I couldn't get everything focused on there. I had to try to refocus. But I finally got everything focused and everything's up and running. You can see my guide scope right here. Let me um, brighten it up a little bit. You can see. Oh, this way. Yeah. So you can see the stars right here from the guide scope. It's not the perfect focus, but um, hey, it's guiding. That's all that really matters. All right, so my luminance has finished. So right now I just flipped over to red. And I still got to use this because I'm still don't have the autofocus. But what I did was I went to framing was that wizard. Well, framing focus before I started everything. And I did um, each filter. I went and sat and took like a it was like an eight second photo. And I lined my batten off mask. Everything was pretty much lined up perfectly for all filters. So, well, that's going to be it for this video. And hopefully I get some good results.